Hey guys, BixWayRoadRoad.com. Let's talk crypto craziness beyond what I was talking about this morning. Let's talk about Bitcoin SV, Satoshi's vision, supposedly. Um, I'm not a fan because I start with the people. I'm not a fan of the people. Everything else, fine. I don't believe Craig Wright. <laughs> and so the fact that it's gone up, well, let's take a look. In the last couple days, 300%, 400%? Is it an exit scam? Is it a con? If you ask why it, go, why it went up? Yeah. Bitcoin offshoot doubles after supposed creator wins a legal delay. Really? That's the reason? You added billions of dollars to already way overvalued coin. Bitcoin SV I, earlier this morning was at eight billion dollars <laughs> because Bitcoin offshoot doubles after supposed creator wins legal delay. He won a delay, my friends. That doesn't mean squat. Craig Wright given more time to prove information in case. Right, ordered earlier to turn over holdings in legal dispute. Bitcoin SV more than doubled in value, continuing its surge in the wake of a ruling that may benefit the self proclaimed inventor of Bitcoin. So there's an $8 billion bet that Craig Wright is Satoshi, is basically what they're saying. A judge in the district court in West Palm Beach said on January 10th that Craig Wright, who claims he created Bitcoin under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, can postpone a deposition that was scheduled for Tuesday and receive additional time to produce information about his Bitcoin holdings. This case could shed light on whether Wright actually owns a huge swath of the original coin. If his identity as Nakamoto is confirmed by the case, that could give a boost to Bitcoin SV, a rival effort that Wright has been supporting for months after claiming that the original Bitcoin didn't pan out as he'd hoped. Judge Beth Bloom also reversed some sanctions imposed on Wright by another judge. Sounds like Judge Beth, Beth Bloom is part of the crypto cabal. They have a lot of judges in on their side. The estate of former business partner Dave Kleinman is suing Wright for Bitcoin's worth billions. The outcome of the case could potentially impact the markets for both Bitcoin and its offshoots like Bitcoin SV. Why? Who gives a flying flock if Craig Wright is Satoshi? If he isn't, what's going to happen to Bitcoin SV? Oh, no, no, we never counted on Craig Wright anyway. Yeah, it was a blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. So it doubles when he just gets a delay in his trial. <laughs> and you don't think anything's going to happen to it when it comes out that he's a fraud? I do think he's a fraud. I don't know. Nobody knows. I could say I'm Satoshi Nakamoto. I probably have a better chance of being Satoshi than he does. Because people trust me more than they trust him. Some people. Because <laughs> I normally try to tell the truth. <laughs> normally. I might be wrong, but it doesn't mean I'm not trying to tell the truth. This guy is a con artist, a liar. Time and time again, you can just tell by looking at him and hearing him discuss everything. He could end this pathetic debate by just showing us, hey, move a little of uh, Satoshi's Bitcoin out of the wallet. That's all you got to do. Make an announcement. Oh, oh hey, judge, I'm going to prove I'm Satoshi. On Tuesday at 2 o'clock, I'm going to move one Bitcoin out of Satoshi's wallet into this wallet here sitting in front of your desk. Blah, blah, blah. Done. Case dismissed. There's your Satoshi. He won't do it because he doesn't. He can't. Now, I do think he was involved with some people within the people who invented the group that invented Bitcoin. He was involved with some of those people, so he had some inside information. He doesn't have the keys. Not your keys, not your coin, Craig Wright. But for Bitcoin SV, when it gets proven that he's a fraud, I'm scared. But hey, if you guys want to invest in it, it's doggy dog in crypto land these days. Sensibilities have gone right out the window.
on so many of them. Can't even tell you what. Have a day. You don't want to deal with any of this crap? Stick to Litecoin. <laughs> Stick to Litecoin. It's ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. So I checked out the Bitcoin, SV, the whole thing. It's a cryptocurrency. First of all, you don't want a centralized cryptocurrency. This is pretty centralized. So, I don't know. If you guys want to invest in it, go for it. If you want to sell into this rally, go for it. Bitcoin SV is ridiculous. 100% rally has skeptics crying, it's an exit scam. Bitcoin SV price went vertical in the last 24 hours as BSV proponent Craig Wright's claim he's got the keys to prove he created Bitcoin. Bitcoin SV went catastrophic. Uh, it's going to go catastrophic. Uh, stratospheric Monday and Tuesday. Bitcoin SV blew past key resistance at $175, reaching escape velocity on its rock blast to a peak above 350 Now Satoshi's vision proponents are pumping for a moonshot. Here are three reasons behind BSV's move. One, Bitcoin prices soared in January, but its rivals Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV are making an even more dramatic moves so far in 2020. Of the two hard, for, hard forked blockchains, Bitcoin SV is the most gravity defying, according to Coin Market Cap. BSV has nearly doubled in the last 24 hours, gaining 96% of its price a day ago. Here are three reasons for the remarkable breakout. Number one, big news for Bitcoin SV. The Bitcoin is points to January 11th promise of big BSV news from one of the cryptocurrency's most viable, visible proponents, Calvin Air. Criminal also. Wow. So he, he, he posted, true value follows utility. Big SV, S, BSV news coming soon. Pump number one. No word yet on the news, but it appears his remarks may have gotten blockchain spectators excited. Pump number two. BSV overtakes BNB coin. Just before Air dropped his mysterious tweet, there already was some big BSV news. The crypto overtook Bitcoin, a uh, Binance coin, for total market cap to become the eighth most valuable blockchain in the world. How ironic. Bitcoin SV overtakes the coin of the exchange Binance that initiated its delisting in many other exchanges months ago. I'm sure CZ Binance is reminded of that move looking at this today. This caused quite a stir, especially given the long-running feud between BSV proponent Craig Wright and Binance founder and CEO CZ. It was no doubt a catalyst for this week's price moves. And number three. <laughs> Bitcoin SV founder to prove he's Satoshi Nakamoto? The public still is in the dark about who created Bitcoin. We aren't on the road to Ruta. The author of the Bitcoin white paper used a synonym, a pseudonym, Satoshi Nakamoto. But Australian computer scientist and leading Bitcoin SV proponent Craig Wright has famously, or infamously, depending on your opinion, claimed to be Satoshi. Recent developments in a lawsuit against Wright are likely to likely the decisive factor in the skyrocketing Bitcoin SV price. A U.S. judge in Florida ordered Wright to disclose the private keys that would prove his claim. Wright says he has a bonded courier in, pros in possession of the keys who will deliver them this month. <laughs> Blockchain developer Dragon Industry tweeted screenshots of a chat with Wright claiming next week we'll we will file already arrived. Next week, we will file already arrived early in the morning. Wow. Craig Wright's thrown out another bomb. So by the end of the month, we'll either know or, or say, you're full of shit, go to jail, and Bitcoin SV will crash. What do you think? Skeptics cry, pump, and dump. Bitcoin SV community is euphoric about the price jump. Proponents of the altcoin are promising even bigger moves but skeptics are calling it a pump and dump. And the Dragon Industries tweet, for instance, quipped, that's what we need to get this thing to $200. And reply said, 
And don't get me wrong, there is nothing less than a fabricated, this is nothing less than a fabricated scam, a pump and dump orchestrated by the people on the helm. Crypto Slate points to skeptics like the 2,500 plus respondents to a poll agreeing that there, there's a Bitcoin SV exit scam in progress. I throw my hat in that ring. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust anybody who's associated with Bitcoin SV. I, I get their marketing guys and the people who want to pump it emailing me all the time. Um, I heard Snippy just put out a, a buy, buy, buy on Bitcoin SV. I don't know. I don't know these guys. I don't trust these guys. I don't think uh, Craig Wright is Satoshi. And if this thing all, this this whole thing is teetering on Craig Wright being Satoshi, that's pretty scary. It's not where someplace I'd want to put my money. But hey, it is the cryptoverse. Do what you will. Don't expect to be protected by anybody. You want to you want to invest in BitConnect? Go ahead. Lessons are meant to be learned in certain areas. Uh, Bitcoin SV, I do not I would I would say there's a less than 1% chance that Craig Wright is Satoshi. So if you're if you're comfortable with a bet like that, go ahead buy Bitcoin SV. I will not. It won't be happening on the road to Ruta. And if he is proven to be Satoshi, yeah, Bitcoin SV should do well. I don't I don't know much about the coin even. All I know is there's scammers involved with it. So I don't know. That's my answer to whether or not well the, the question of whether or not you should buy Bitcoin SV as an investment, I would say not in a million years. As a as a some kind of wild speculation that uh, Craig Wright is Satoshi, yeah, go ahead, buy it. How about this? What what if it turns out he is Satoshi and then Bitcoin SV crashes? All the all the hype and mystery is gone. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you have a very centralized cryptocurrency called Bitcoin SV. There's many ways to skin a cat around the cryptocurrency valuation area. And then you got the price riggers who can do anything they want with the price at any time. Anyway, hey, like and subscribe. Big Square Road Talk to you later.